Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary. Today's word is about code churn. Code churn is basically a measurement which generally determines that how many changes have taken place between two versions of a particular code. Of course, initially a developer will create a code and at any point of time, due to certain modifications or probably due to fixing of an error or maybe it is due to a defect which is detected from the testing team and uh, the developer has to make necessary changes in the code at any point of time to rectify those issues. And yes, that, that involves some kind of changes. Could be like adding new lines of code, modifying existing lines of code, or even deleting certain lines of code. So no matter what you do as a part of your modification, it could be adding, deleting, or editing an existing line of code. We just measure that between the previous revision or the version of a particular code, and the new version which is being created what's the difference which has taken place and this measurement is what you call it as code churn which generally has a formula to be measured at any point of time and that is the code churn measurement matrix is equal to number of uh, or i can say like sum of number of lines added plus number of lines modified plus number of lines deleted so you add them all up together and that is what you get it as code churn so what code churn will be helpful for? Why should we measure these measurements or the changes between two different versions of a code? Because at any point of time, the efficiency of the team can be measured. That how much rework is being happening compared to a new code being written. Because if you are involved with more of the rework and it is unnecessarily being created, then of course it will create a lot of lag and definitely will reach deadlines without completing your work. So yes, it is one of the measurements which will determine you how exactly you will reach the deadline. If you are doing a lot of rework, definitely you need to gear up more or probably reduce these code churns by making sure that you have some predefined activities to reduce your efforts early in the life cycle. Or definitely at some point you are following agile and a lot of changes are being involved. But yes, at the same time you will measure the frequency which will allow you to determine that how much more time do we have and what we need to do at that point of time. Well, that's all from this particular episode team talking about the code churn. Should you have any other words with you and you would like to know a definition to that, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.